Sleep and Metabolism Lab at Colorado State University. My name is Josiane Broussard and I am a professor in the Department of Health and Exercise Science. And I've actually been working in sleep and circadian biology for over 20 years. It was just happened to be the first job I got outside of college. And in the SAM lab, we study the link between sleep and circadian biology and health. So for example, we know that people who sleep either at the wrong time of day or who don't get enough sleep are at an increased risk for many different diseases. And so uh, we conduct studies that test why that's the case and also what can we do about it when that behavior can't be avoided. Hi, I'm Ellen Lyon. I'm the lab manager of the SEM lab. Welcome to the control room. From here, we can monitor our participants during our various studies. We're able to observe our participants on these monitors, as well as monitor their brain waves to know if they're awake or sleeping during the study. We can also control the light levels in each individual room. Here's one of our sleep suites, one of two identical rooms. You can see that we have comfortable beds, as well as a TV for participants to watch during their stay. Here in the lab, we're interested in how timing of behaviors like sleeping and eating can impact circulating factors. We do this by sampling blood hourly. We're even able to do that while participants are sleeping. We hook up a long IV line, put it through this port in the wall here. We're able to draw blood without disturbing our participants' sleep. We'll take the blood that we've collected and bring it to the wet lab for processing. Before we enter the wet lab, we want to make sure that we're wearing our personal protective equipment. That includes our safety goggles, our gloves, our lab coat, long pants, closed toed shoes, and we can safely enter. Come on in and follow me. Here are our centrifuges where we're able to process our blood to then be put into our freezer. All of the SAMIs are trained in these blood processing methods and can safely process these samples uh, during all of our studies. Thanks for following along in this tour. Hello, my name is Sacha Davis and I'm one of the undergraduate research assistants here in the Sleep and Metabolism Lab. The lab offers its members a lot of different opportunities, and one of them is the potential to become IV certified. I, along with some other members in the lab, are currently in the process of getting our certification, and that involves 10 successful sticks under the supervision of our lab manager. Hi, I'm Maddie Abel, and I'm a research associate here in the SAM lab. During our studies, we like to know how much sleep people are getting and exactly what type, so we use polysomnography, or PSG as we call it here in the lab. Through this, we do a series of measurements on someone's head, place electrodes on their head and face, and then those electrodes plug into this device called the Siesta. And this is our ambulatory device that talks to a computer in our control room. And we are able to monitor the electrical activity in their brain, which tells us information about what stage of sleep they're in, if they're awake, if they're concentrating, exactly how long it takes them to fall asleep, things like that. So it's a really crucial piece of data for us throughout our studies. Hi, my name is Laurel Anderson. I'm one of the UGRAs currently in the SAM lab, and we have to use a lot of different equipment to get all of our different data measures, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of them. So this first one here we call an ActaWatch, and it's something that our participant wears just so that um, it can measure like light and activity throughout the day so that we can kind of know their sleep and wake times when they're not in the lab. Another device that we use here is um, in this little box, it looks like this, and it's called a continuous glucose monitor or a CGM. And we place these on the lower backs of our participants um, so it, it can measure interstitial glucose during the study. Hi, my name is Kat Lowry. I'm a PhD student here in the SAM lab, and I've been with the SAM lab for about a year. I love spending time in the SAM lab, and it's allowed me to have some really awesome opportunities. I've gotten IV certified, PSG certified, and now I'm able to be a lead on our study shift, so I can help other people take care of our participants, which is so cool and something I never imagined myself doing when I started here. This lab has impacted my education in so many ways. 
when I got here, I didn't know anything about sleep and I knew the basics of metabolism. But now I'm a PhD student and that's inspired me to learn lots and lots and lots about sleep and metabolism. I'm working hard to become an expert on sleep so that when I finish my PhD, I'll be able to talk with all sorts of people about the wonders of sleep and metabolism. Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm a PhD student in the Sleep and Metabolism Laboratory. Um, I'm really passionate about how our behavior impacts our health, specifically how sleep, exercise, and diet impacts um, our health and how we can improve upon those things to live our best, fullest lives. Hi everybody, my name is Jamaica Wedderburn. I am a second year master's student here in the Health and Exercise Science Department. I am also a graduate research assistant in the Sleep and Metabolism Lab. Um, and the SAM lab has done some remarkable things for me in my professional development, and as well as in learning in life in general. Honestly, I've learned the importance of sleep. I've learned the importance of timing um, your meals correctly. And this is extremely influential and important to me with my background being strength and conditioning. Those things are often overlooked in the strength and conditioning field, nutrition and sleep and recovery so you know these are things i want to bring forth to the field once i graduate um some opportunities i've had through the sam lab is i've had the opportunity to go to the society of sleep um research conferences which was has been an awesome experience for me um the srbr the society of um biological rhythms research on biological rhythms, excuse me. Um, and that was a wealth of knowledge. Um, my brain was flooded with information that I um, plan to use with me, um, especially moving forward with my thesis. So thank you guys for um, hearing me out. Hi, my name is John. I'm a professional research associate at the Sleep and Metabolism Lab at CSU. I've been in this role for about two months now, and I think my favorite thing about it is the emphasis that it puts on making well-rounded scientists. So while we learn the research and the clinical skills necessary, we also put an emphasis on learning writing, effective communication, and teamwork. And I think these are skills that are gonna take you into any field you want. So I think that's the thing I appreciate the most about this opportunity. Hi there, my name is Olivia Hall and I am currently a senior at the University of Missouri where I am pursuing a degree in biological sciences on the pre-med track. I was able to complete a summer internship at the SAM lab this, this past summer in the months of June and July. I worked um, mainly as an undergrad research assistant and I really enjoyed my time there. I learned a lot, not only about sleep, but also about blood processing, pipetting, research techniques, and everyone in the lab was super eager to um, welcome me into the lab, which made my time there really great. I would say the biggest skill I was able to develop this summer while I was at the SAM lab was my critical thinking skills. Um, when there's a human participant in the lab, it's there's a variety of different situations that can come up. And so working with the other um, lab member to kind of think of solutions in a timely manner and that will provide the best outcome for the study. It was really engaging and I really enjoyed that aspect of the study. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed my time at the SAM lab this summer. Love to return next summer. I think it's just a great environment and a great place to learn more about sleep and more about science and research as a whole. Thank you. Hi, my name is Chieko. I'm pursuing a degree in biology and I've been with SAM Lab for about eight months. Things that SAM Lab have taught me has been precision in the lab, data collection, and teamwork. Thank you so much for watching and learning about the Sleep and Metabolism Lab. We are always looking for volunteers. If you are interested in becoming a participant or learning more about our research, please check out our website.